Not much in the W column for either Welsh or Warriors in recent months. No win in 11 league games explains the Exiles' demotion. One success in 10, a reason for Worcester's recent changes. This was very far from a low-key finish to the season, and the home side made a flying start. Wing Dan Caprice racing clear for the first score. And within four minutes, they showed a clinical edge they'd needed rather earlier in the season. Worcester flanker Neil Best simbined, and Alfie Tuawala the extra man as the Welsh pack rumbled over. 14-0 ahead inside 10 minutes. They did their best to compromise that advantage with three yellow cards. But soon after the break, a try by fullback Tom Arscott, a consistent class act this season, looks set to extend Worcester's horrible away record, just one league win on the road in four years. Incoming coach Dean Ryan will have found little to encourage him in the first hour of this game, which included the standout moment. From beneath their own post, Welsh conjured the bonus point try. Wing Nick Scott delivering a season highlight just in time. Fully 75 metres to the corner, and that rare win was becoming a rout. At which point Exiles' thoughts turned to their summer holidays and was to woke up. Not that Josh Drowninu could claim much credit for their first try, something of a gift from his former club. But barely two minutes later, the winger did put in the hard and rather fast yards to break the home defence and score under the posts. And with that, a big finish looked possible. Instead, referee Matthew Carley marked his first Premiership match with another yellow for Worcester's Chris Jones. And despite Jake Abbott's late dash, Welsh had a first league win since December the 1st. Very welcome, but too little, too late.